The job search strategies that worked for you before are probably not the job search strategies that are gonna work best for you now. Here are the three best places for established professionals to find jobs in data science. First, you have to talk with your friends and family. Then you also have to look at the job boards and then you also have to make established connections with recruiters. Here's how that works. Your friends and family can actually help you with your job search. If they don't know about the job search, they can't help you. Your recruiters, as an established professional, one or more recruiters has likely reached out to you in the course of your career, contact them back. And then of course, we know just in general from all job search data that job boards are the most effective job search strategy. When I was first becoming a data scientist, I basically constantly lived in a state of fear. I constantly thought that human resources was going to be mad at me or that I'd get in trouble with human resources somehow for posing as a data scientist in the organization when I wasn't really a data scientist. And the reason I thought this is because others in the office were calling me a data scientist. My friends and family were calling me a data scientist. and I wasn't really trying to be a data scientist. I was really just trying to do good work. The more I work with established mid and late career professionals, the more I understand that all of us, we really just want to do good work. And for many of us, our career is already automatically moving in the direction of data science. I hope that if this is the case for you, you won't be fearful like I was. If you are fearful, be in touch with me. I'll help you through that. A lot of people will ask me, how on earth did you become a career coach for data scientists? Well, I didn't intentionally set out to become a career coach for data scientists. Once I became a data scientist, I started writing about my experience, transitioning my career into data science, also making that transition later in my career. And then folks started reaching out to me and asking, hey, Adam, would you help me make the transition? And I said, sure, I'll help you out. I ended up helping out several people just pro bono. And then eventually I realized, I think I can make a career out of this. That's when I started my career coaching practice. So now I help mid and late career professionals transition into data science, which is exactly the kind of transition that I made with my career. Did you know that I wrote a book on how to become a data scientist, a guide for established professionals? In that book, I give advice on how to prepare a data science resume. Some of the pieces of advice in that book are, for example, use standard fonts, use no more than two colors, use single space, make sure that you use the same size margin, all four edges of your resume. For mid and late for professionals, a good margin size is probably 0.75 inches because as a mid or late career professional, you have more information to put in your resume than most folks. 